Akala ko dati may lamang ang mahusay mag-drawing sa degree na ito. Well, it just so happens na sa umpisa lang pala yun. Although drawings are a big part of this profession, it is not all that matters. And okay lang kahit hindi ka marunong mag-drawing. Kasama din kasi sa curriculum ng course na ito ang drafting classes. So kung yun ang inaalala mo, don't worry. Mapag-aaralan mo naman yan sa school. Kasama kasi yan sa mga subjects mo. You will be taking up drawing subjects in this degree. Unlike other courses, architecture can also be considered as art. At medyo maggastos ng konti ang mga materials sa artistic aspect ng course. Remember that the drawing subjects you need to take require some certain drawing materials. Siyempre, alang naman mag-drawing tayo sa hangin. So, kailangan mo maghanda ng mga pambili ng mga papel, special paper, tech pens, pencils, mga coloring materials like watercolor, colored pencils, at marami pang iba. Hindi naman yan isang bagsakan as you venture through this course, unti-unti mo naman yan bibilin. Think of it as an investment. Being an architect, you need to get used to presenting your projects. Kaya naman presentation is key. And in order to do that, you need to know some of the software applications that we use. Ilan sa mga software na kinagamit namin ay Autodesk AutoCAD, Autodesk Revit, V-Ray, SketchUp, Lumion, Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, and the list goes on. Kilala ang architecture to be one of the most time-consuming professions because we deal with a lot of design and details na hindi mo naman magagawa overnight. Very detail-oriented kasi ang trabaho nito. Kaya naman isa ito sa trabaho na pinakamahabang work hours when it comes to project presentations, submissions, and reports. Architecture is subjective. Be open to criticisms. Due to its artistic nature, architecture is subjective. Architecture is a mixture of both the science and the arts. And it doesn't really follow a certain criteria of what looks good and what doesn't. That saying, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, fits well in this profession. Kanya-kanyang trip yan, wala namang tama, wala namang mali when it comes to art. Kaya naman just be open to criticisms, pag-aralan mo ng maging manhid. There are a lot of opportunities. Yes, that's correct. This profession can open a lot of doors when it comes to opportunities in this field. Whether in architecture itself, design, management, construction, graphic design, marketing, business, fashion, name it. Because there are a lot of things that can be related to architecture and design. This is one profession na pwede kang magkaroon ng sarili mong practice or magtayo ng company on your own. Kasama na din dyan ang mga side hustles or ang mga sideline when practicing the profession. So the income opportunities are endless in this profession. Discarte mo na lang ang kailangan. One thing na nagustuhan ko sa profession na ito is that you can make an impact. Imagine designing or building a house or a commercial complex or even a store. It's gonna be physically there for a long time. The structures that were built from the concepts and ideas you imagined when you were designing it will remain and will be seen by a lot of people. Kung building yan sa EDSA, imagine mo na nadadaanan yan ng maraming tao every day. Or kung bahay yan na super amazing ang design, it's right there and it's your design. And that experience, that feeling can be fulfilling. You can think of it this way. Anywhere you look, especially in this built environment, all that you see, it has something to do with architecture. Or vice versa, architecture has something to do with it. Or architecture did something to it. All that you see has architecture in it.